Welcome back to Madman Review. So, it's 2024. Ready for the newest handguns this year has to offer? Well, buckle up, because in this video, we're bringing you eight of the newest handguns for 2024. We'll unpack the latest and greatest in handgun technology, from the sleek streets of innovation to the rugged trails of reliability. Whether you're a handgun enthusiast or you're shopping around for your first pistol, there's something here for everyone. Without further ado, let's get right into it. Number 8, Taurus TH-10. All right, sliding into the number 8 spot, we've got the Taurus TH-10. Now, don't let its place on the list fool you. This will be making some serious waves, especially because the 10mm is seeing a resurgence in recent years. Taurus, already making big hits like the G3C and the GX4, is stepping up their game with the TH-10, their first dive into the 10mm pool. The TH-10 is double-action, single-action polymer frame piece, a real sturdy piece of hardware. It's got a combo decocker safety feature, which is pretty slick. You can carry it cocked and locked, or go for the decock DA mode with the safety off. Flexibility is key here, and the Taurus is delivering. Now let's talk specs. The TH-10 is built tough, uses the same solid framework as the other TH series models, and it can handle thousands of rounds without breaking a sweat. The initial trigger pull is smooth in double action, and those follow-up shots, they break clean in single action. Plus, that thumb safety doubles as a decocker. And size? The TH-10 ain't dainty. It's got some heft, weighing in at 28.5 ounces unloaded. This is a full-size handgun, make no mistake. While it lacks some of the modern features like forward slide serrations, it makes up for it in sheer robustness and reliability. For the price of $529.99 MSRP, the TH-10 is one of the most wallet-friendly semi-auto 10mm pistols you'll find. Number 7, EAA MC14 G84. Coming in at number 7, we've got the MC14 G84, a fresh addition to the MC14 pistol family from European American Armory and Gerson. This little powerhouse is chambered in 380 ACP and boasts a double stack capacity that's just perfect for those who want to stay armed without drawing too much attention. The MC-14 family, already known for its tip-up models released earlier this year, just got a bit bigger with the introduction of the G84 model. It has the same open slide of the Beretta Model 84 and also has a frame-mounted safety. It packs a punch with a 13 plus 1 magazine capacity. It's also compatible with the traditional MC-14 and all similar 84 series magazines. Pistol's design features composite grips on an aluminum frame, making it lightweight and easy to handle. It's got a smooth DASA pull and an ambidextrous frame safety. While there's not a ton of info out there yet, the photos show some cool features. You've got slide serrations for easy handling, a thumb rest built into the grip for a more natural hold, and integrated three-dot sights for better targeting. The MC-14 G84 comes in either an all-black or two-tone finish, giving it a sleek look. One thing to note, it doesn't look like there's an accessory rail, so keep that in mind if you're big on add-ons. Priced around $370, the Gerson MC-14 G84 offers a sweet deal for those looking for a reliable, quality pistol that won't empty your wallet. Number 6, Glock 49 MOS. All right, Glock fanboys, it's time to take a look at another addition to the Glock family, the G49 MOS. This newcomer brought to us by Taylor Distributors is a fitting tribute to the innovative spirit of Gaston, who sadly passed away on December 27th, 2023. It's almost like he left us with one last bang, a testament to his legacy in the world of firearms. The Glock 49 MOS is a clever marketing response to what Glock fans and concealed carriers have been customizing for years. 
it brilliantly merges the compact grip of the Glock 19 with the full-sized 4.49-inch barrel of the Glock 17, or rather, the Glock 47, because we all know the Glock 17 isn't interchangeable with the Glock 19. This combination, which enthusiasts often refer to as the G19L, is now a factory reality. What makes this a mashup? Well, when you're carrying a concealed, the grip is what tends to give you away, not the length of the slide. The Glock 19 has long been praised for its ideal carry size, but the longer slide and barrel of the Glock 49 MOS mean improved accuracy and more effective use of the 9mm round. It has all the usual Gen 5 features, flat face grip, ambidextrous slide stop, and the MOS system for easy optics mounting. Finished in classic black, the Glock 49 MOS comes equipped with three 15-round magazines and an MOS adapter plate for RMR-style optics. Number 5. Ruger Super Red Hawk 22 Hornet Ruger's newest addition to their iconic Super Red Hawk line is the 22 Hornet, a revolver that's a perfect blend for varmint hunters and long-range revolver enthusiasts. At the heart of its design is a 9.5-inch cold hammer forged barrel. This length is specifically chosen to extract the utmost accuracy from the 22 Hornet cartridge. To aid in precision aiming, it features a replaceable high-vis green insert front sight and an adjustable rear sight, ensuring that shooters can dial in their aim with confidence. Like all Super Red Hawk revolvers, it features a triple locking cylinder that locks into the frame at the front, rear, and bottom, providing an exceptionally stable and robust platform. The frame itself is made extra sturdy with additional metal in the top strap, sidewalls, and barrel mounting areas, a hallmark of the Super Red Hawk series. In terms of specs, the Ruger Super Hawk in 22 Hornet has an 8-round capacity and features a satin stainless finish that gives it a sleek and durable exterior. The revolver weighs in at 66 ounces and features a 1 in 9 right-hand twist with 5 grooves in the barrel. Also has an MOS RMR adapter plate for optics and with an MSRP of $1,499 it's positioned as a premium offering in Ruger's revolver lineup. Number 4. Decima Division Ballistica XDB Rapex The Rapex by Decima Division Ballistica in Italy isn't just a pistol that looks like an Arsenal firearm strike one. Featuring a rotating block in front of the cartridge chamber, the Rapax has a barrel that moves horizontally. This design minimizes moving mass and allows for a really low bore access. The result? A super fast firing cycle and virtually no muzzle flip. The frame of the Rapex is crafted from lightweight 7075 aluminum alloy, making it both sturdy and nimble. Frame even features windows for inserting grips available in various sizes and materials, including light alloy, wood, or rubber. Now let's talk build quality. Every component of the XDB firearms, including the Rapex, is machined from solid billets of steel or aerospace alloy. There are no MIM parts involved here. These pistols are produced on 5-axis milling CNC centers, ensuring unparalleled precision and quality. It's available in three variants, tactical, sport, and compact. The sport variant in particular has already made a splash in the competitive shooting world, snagging over 100 gold medals in national-level IPSC matches. And the tactical variant? It's not just a pistol. It can transform into a real carbine in under a minute, thanks to its unique 12-inch barrel option, boosting velocity and extending range. For those who need stealth, both the tactical and compact models offer a line of modular suppressors. These suppressors are adaptable modules you can add or remove to suit different calibers and projectiles. Sadly, pricing info isn't available as of the making of this video. Number 3. Walter PDP Match and PDP Steel Frame Match Number 3 on this list brings us Walter's new PDP Steel Frame Match. They're touting this as a pistol that can handle the toughest conditions while delivering results that'll blow your mind. 
What sets this one apart? It's precision machined steel frame built to endure and excel. The striker fired mechanism is another highlight featuring Walter's dynamic performance trigger. This trigger is a game changer, offering a significant reduction in weight, take up, and reset. It's about smooth operation and precision, whether you're a competitive shooter or just a fan of fine firearms. The PDP matched steel frame sports a no-slip performance, duty texture, and wraparound grips. These grips aren't just comfortable, they're customizable with both factory and aftermarket options. The barrel's a solid 5 inches with a 1 in 9 twist, and the trigger pull sits at about 5 pounds. Also, the ambidextrous mag release is a thoughtful touch, catering to both righties and lefties. But wait, there's more. The ported slide comes with Super Terrain Serrations, a unique design for faster, more responsive handling, and the aluminum enhanced magwell. It's there to make reloading a breeze. Like other PDP models, it's optics ready and comes with a free cover plate, plus options for different optic mounts. You get two 20 round mags and one 18 round mag with a PDP match steel frame. Overall length is 8.37 inches, height is 5.75 inches, and it weighs in at 41 ounces with an empty mag. Number 2. SIG P365 AXG Legion Sitting pretty at number 2, we've got the SIG P365 AXG Legion. SIG fanboys have been clamoring for a P365 with an AXG or Alloy X grip. SIG's aluminum alloy grip module first introduced for their P320 line of pistols. This grip module comes with its custom G10 grips, offers a level of control and comfort that's hard to beat. And that Legion gray Cerakote finish? It's not just about looking good, it's about durability and making a statement every time you draw. But that's just the tip of the iceberg. The P365 AXG Legion features a two-port integrated expansion chamber, which is all about managing that recoil effectively. When it comes to handling, the optic-ready slide with improved serrations is a game-changer. It's designed for quick, confident manipulation, whether you're at the range or in a high-stress situation. The sights are something else. We're talking X-Ray 3 day-night sights giving you top-notch visibility no matter the lighting conditions. This pistol is all about keeping you on target. As for the specs, the SIG P365 AXG Legion comes with three 17-round steel mags. It's a compact-sized pistol with an overall length of 6.6 .6 inches and a height of 5.2 inches. The weight? including the magazine, is 26 ounces, making it a solid yet manageable carry option. It's got a 1913 Picatinny rail for accessories, striker-fired trigger, and no manual safety. The barrel is made of carbon steel, and the slide features that sleek Legion Grey Cerakote finish. Number 1. Cabot Guns Insurrection Landing at number one, we've got the Cabot Guns Insurrection, a real showstopper in the high-end 1911 market. Known for their incredibly crafted luxury 1911s, Cabot Guns is taking things to a whole new level with the Insurrection. This isn't just another addition to their lineup. It's a striking departure that's set to turn heads. The Insurrection marks Cabot's first venture into the double-stack 1911 market, something CEO Rob Biochen never thought they'd do. But here we are, and they're not just dipping their toes in. They're reinventing the game. Unlike the typical blocky and simple-to-manufacture double-stacks out there, the Insurrection is a piece of art. It's machined from billets of American-made 416 series stainless steel. No polymer or aluminum in sight. The grip module and frame? They're not just functional, they're a testament to the meticulous, time-intensive craftsmanship that Cabot is known for. With a 5-inch match barrel and a tri-top slide featuring a reverse ledge rear and a choice of serrated black or fiber optic front sight, the Insurrection is all about precision. It's optics ready too, with our sample sporting a Trigicon SRO and iron sights for a lower one-third co-witness.
but it's not just about looks. The insurrection performs flawlessly thanks to Cabot's proprietary advantage extractor and a bevy of high-end components. The trigger is a masterpiece, breaking at 3 pounds, 8 ounces with zero creep. And yes, it feels every bit as good as it sounds. But with its hefty price tag of $5,995, this luxury handgun isn't for everyone.